Once upon a time, in the magic land just west of the singing rivers, a very poor miller man died. To his eldest son, Thomas, he left his mill. To the next one, Benjamin, the team of oxen. There was nothing left for Eric, the youngest son, but a sleek cat with unusually bright eyes called Buttons. As our story begins, it is past midnight in the living quarters of the three brothers, where Eric, left alone, speaks to the strange little cat. Well, Buttons, my poor father meant well, but you're not exactly what I'd call an endowment. You never know, Master. Heavens and earth, a cat that talks. Buttons, what can this mean? It means that I am an enchanted cat, Eric. And after 12 o'clock at night, I can speak. Well, my word. What's more, I can help you to money and position. And a happy marriage. Oh, <laughs> you don't expect me to believe that. Oh, I swear it. If you will do as I say. Well, by all the stars, when a cat can sit and talk to me, it's time I believed and listened. Of course I'll do as you say. What's first on the program? What would you like to have? Oh, let me see. A castle of my own and marry the king's beautiful daughter, Medora. How's that for an order? Oh, it's all right with me. Now, let me see. We'll have to start from scratch. Oh, that's not a bad joke from a cat. <laughs> uh, first, get me a little pair of boots so that I may walk without hurting my feet. If it takes my last cent, you shall have the finest boots in the kingdom. What next? Fetch me a bag with a noose on the end so that I may snare rabbits and birds with it. Can you do all that, Buttons? Oh, and much more. Now go over to the desk and write a note as I dictate it. Here's the quill and paper, Buttons. Now, what shall I say? Oh, to his gracious majesty... Majesty... The king. The king? With kindest regards... Regards... Of his loyal subject. Loyal subject. The Marquis. Marquis. Of Carabas. Carabas. Is that all? Well, that's enough for this time. And who may the Marquis of Carabas be? None other than yourself. <laughs> How do I happen to be that all of a sudden? If you would marry the king's daughter, you must have a title. Oh, of course, you're quite right. What next? Well, trust me. At dawn, I'll take the bag and go out hunting into the fields. And by noon, I shall have something very worthwhile to give the king. I'm beginning to see. I thought so. Rely on me and your future will be brilliant. Just as you say, Buttons. Just as you say. <laughs> Will you look at that cat? I'm glad you mentioned it first. I thought I was seeing things. I've been a guard at this castle for years, but I never saw anything like that before. What is it, guards? What are you looking at? Oh, good day, Princess Medora. Uh, Your Highness, it's a cat with boots on. Not really. Oh, Father, come here. Uh, what is it, Medora? A cat wearing little boots. Well, hello, puss in boots. He brought this bag to you, Your Majesty. What's in it, guard? It's filled with wild game, sire. Two pheasants, a duck, a rabbit, and a dozen quail. Oh, and a note. With the compliments of your loyal subject, the Marquis of Carabas. How very kind of him. Marquis of Carabas. I don't believe I know him. Where does he live? He doesn't say. No address on the note. How can we thank him, Father? I know. Guard. Uh, yes, yes, Your sire. Majesty. Follow this remarkable pussycat home. Present my compliments to his master, the Marquis of Carabas, and thank him for his most acceptable gift. Yes, sire. Run along home, pussycat. And call on us again sometime, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Come here. What's wrong, brother? What's the matter? You'll wake the dead with all that shouting. What's wrong with you? I hear the footsteps of the ogre. That means he may start down to the villages to destroy people. Benjamin, why doesn't someone kill this monster? Because he can change himself into so many different things that no one knows what to do. Well, there'll be no sleep in the village tonight. Come, Benjamin. We might as well sit up together. Puss in boots. Oh, there you are. 
I thought 12 o'clock would never come. It's time to have our visit buttons. Indeed it is, Master. Have you seen the Princess Medora? Every day. And is she as lovely as reports would have it? No, come in. Oh, Buttons, you're surely out of this world. You know, it, it's strange, but ever since you asked me what I wanted, I heard myself saying the Princess Medora, I've thought of nothing else. I really want her to be my wife. Well, leave it to me, Master. Now, listen, for we have something else to do. What's that? The king and the Princess Medora drive out through the country every day at 2 o'clock. Well? Tomorrow, as they pass the river where the current is swift, you will jump in and pretend you can't swim. Oh, but I can swim. You won't tomorrow. But why? Just do as I say and leave the rest to me. Oh, oh Buttons, wait a minute. Do you know the ogre who lives on the mountain? <coughs> oh, no, him. I should say I do. He's the one that enchanted me. He killed my whole family, the beast. Oh, don't you worry. I'll find a way to get him someday. And when I do... <coughs> Make quick work of him. Oh, Father, it's lovely today. I'm enjoying every minute of our drive. I too, Medora, particularly this part along the river. The river is high. My goodness, the current is swift here. I don't think I've ever seen Help! it so. Help! Listen, Father. Help me! Stop the carriage. Someone's calling for help. It must be someone in the river. Uh, look, Father, there's Puss in Boots. He's trying to tell us something. Guards, come quickly. Puss, show us what's wrong. Hurry, men. Yes, Your Majesty. Come on, Sergeant, quickly. Yes, Luger. This way, men. Help. Help. Puss is running toward the river, Father. Perhaps it's his master. The call comes from that direction. Come, men, quickly. Follow that cat. Yes, sire. Run for it, Sergeant. Right behind you. There is a man in the river. I see him. Hurry, men. Save that man. Come on. I am with you. Oh, the current has dragged him under. Oh, will they never reach him? Steady, daughter. The men will reach him. See? See, they're nearly there. There. They have him. Oh, thank heaven. Puss in Boots, is that your master? Here he is, sire. They got him just in time to master. Bring him to the carriage, men. Hurry. Right. He's about done. He's blue with cold, father. Put his head on the cushion, guard. Right. There you are. Oh, father, will... Will he be all right? I hope so. Please don't be distressed, my dear. I think we can bring him around. Thank goodness. Uh, uh, try my smelling salts, Father. Come on, man. Guards, lift his head. Uh, no, that doesn't help. I don't know, Medora. It looks bad. Oh, try, Father. Try. There, he's opened his eyes. You're all right, my friend. Safe and sound. Oh. How stupid of me. I, I'm sorry. I've caused you a great deal of trouble. Forgive me. We're only glad that we happened to be passing just when you called for help. <coughs> this remarkable cat led us to you. Are you by any chance the Marquis of Carabas? Well, why, no, <coughs> I'm... Uh, yes. Yes, I mean I am. Men, drive to the palace. Yes, sir. You must have dry clothing and a hot cup of broth to keep you from catching cold. Oh, sire, I couldn't think of putting you to all the... Uh, Thank you, sire. I'll be most grateful. <laughs> Come on, Puss in Boots. Jump in. Guards, to the castle quickly. That will fix you, little man. <laughs> Soldiers, sentry, let me in quickly. Who is it? Let me in quickly. Oh, Marquis of Carabas, I didn't recognize your voice. Quick, man, sound the alarm. There isn't a moment to lose. The ogre is coming down the mountain. Ring the alarm. Wake everybody. Hurry. Uh, yes, sir. Now, show me where the Princess Medora is. Hurry, please. This sweet, your lordship. Your Highness, Medora, your life is in danger. Come quickly. What is it? Who calls me? I do. Open the door quickly. The ogre is coming. Now for the castle. I hear him. Oh, Princess, throw a cloak on you. Please be quick. I must save you from that beast. He's nearly here. Hurry. Trust me, your Highness. I do trust you, my friend. Where do we go? To the Opal Cave, Princess. This way. Run. I want a princess. Where is she? I'll find her. I'll find her. <laughs> Thank 
That's dawn, Your Highness. I think the ogre has gone back to the mountaintop. Come away from the door, Marquis. He may see you. Please come away. Don't risk it. He'd kill you if he saw you there. And would you care, my princess? Oh, so very much, Marquis. Oh, please don't call me that. My name is Eric. Very well, Eric. Oh, what a dreadful experience this has been. I shall never forget that awful laughter. I can't think what I would have done without you. Just to be permitted to serve you. Oh, my dear. I love you, Medora. I would die for you, my princess. You proved that last night, Eric, when you risked your life to save mine. Oh, dearest one. But you're a princess and I a commoner. I shouldn't speak of it even now, but I couldn't help it. What can I do? I would want you to speak of it. Medora. And together we shall go to my father, the king. Oh, thank you, my lovely lady. Meow. Oh, there's the pussycat. Good morning, puss. Come in. Buttons, is it safe to take the princess back to the castle? Meow, meow. Then come, my dearest. And will you really give me permission to ask your father for his blessing? As I told you, I shall plead your cause myself. Meow, meow. Buttons, what's the matter? Where are you going now? Meow. Eric, this is uncanny, but I could swear he said to call on the ogre. Well, perhaps he did, my dear. If that's true, Buttons, be careful. I don't want anything to happen to you. <coughs> Come, my princess. Let me take you to your father. <laughs> well, I've done pretty well this last trip. Four nice little men and one fat woman. Ah, well, I'll go again tomorrow. <laughs> Company after midnight. Who's that? Let me in, oh, most mighty ogre of the mountain. Well, 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 if it isn't puss in boots, come in. What brings you up the mountain? Well, I never expected a call, but something most unusual has come up, and I thought I ought to tell you. <laughs> You're pretty brave, my little puss, to call on me. Too bad you aren't clever as well. Oh, isn't it? But it isn't everybody who can have your cleverness and charm, mighty monarch. Well, that's very true. What brings you here at midnight? Just this. And they say that it isn't true that you can change yourself into anything you want. That's ridiculous. You know I can. Oh, no, that's just why I'm here. I've heard it, but I've never seen you do it. Now then, here is my proposition. I know where there's a wealthy ruler who will stake all his kingdom and his beautiful daughter on the wager that you can't do this. If you prove to me now that you can, then I'll show you where he is, and you can add all his wealth to your own. Now, will you do it? Well, now, that seems like a fair proposition. Certainly I'll do it. Good. What shall the first change be? Let me see. First, change yourself into a lion. Can you do that? Easy. Here I go. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you scare me. <laughs> oh, well, quick, come back to your natural self. <laughs> All right. You saw me change to a lion? Now what? Well, could you change yourself into a, oh, say, a nice fat old cow? Nothing to it. Watch. <laughs> wow, well, that's simply wonderful. I never would have believed it. How's that? First a lion, then a cow. Guess that proves it, doesn't it? Oh, no. Proves a little of it. Oh, what do you mean, a little? What more proof do you want? Oh, here's what I'm wondering. And it's the most important of all. Now, what more do you want? Well, you can change yourself into all the big animals because you're big yourself. But you know you couldn't change yourself into a tiny one. No, couldn't you? Of course I could. I can change myself into anything. Oh, you couldn't make yourself little. You couldn't change into a mouse, for instance. You know you couldn't. You think not? Watch. <laughs> oh, oh, how I've waited for this moment. <laughs> well, that was a nice little midnight supper. Well, I wasn't particularly hungry either. And as for you, Mr. Ogre, where you are now, you can't even change your mind. Well, now to hurry back to my master to tell him the news. Meow. 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 Oh, Eric, here's Buddy. 
Buttons. Well. Look, Father, here's Puss in Boots. Come in, Buttons. You're just in time for tea. Buttons, where have you been? Did you really call on the ogre? Well, I did, Master, and personally, I had a very nice time. Father, Eric, can I believe my own ears? Did, did Buttons say that? Oh, yes, Your Majesty. How is it that you talk now, Buttons? It isn't midnight yet. Well, because the ogre is no more. The, the ogre is dead? How did it happen? Well, a plan I had worked, that's all. What? Well, how on earth did you do it? He changed himself into a mouse and I ate him. And all his wealth, his beautiful castle, well, everything is yours. Do you hear that, my princess? Then I do have something to offer you. Your Majesty, may I have your daughter's hand in marriage? Please, Father, say yes. Well, this is all going too fast for me. First a cat that talks, then you ask for my daughter's no. hand in marriage. Why, Buttons, what's the matter? What's wrong? Get a hot water bottle. Get two hot water bottles. Get a hot water bottle. No, get some Pepsin. Get some Pepsin. Oh, Paragoric, get the Paragoric. Get the Paragoric. Oh, golly. What no. in the world is the matter, Buttons? That ogre, that doggone ogre has changed himself again. Changed himself into what, Buttons? Oh. To what? A stomachache, and I've got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 